Uh, I guess I'd say that I didn't really have the courage to say, yes, I am good at teaching until I opened the envelope from President Petter last month and learned that I got the award. When a student comes up to you three years after they've graduated and said, you know, I remember your class, uh, I really got value from it, I thought you really changed my life, you made a difference in what I do. Uh, that makes a difference. So that's what every teacher is looking for, really. Actually, when I heard about the award, the, the, my most compelling response was embarrassment. Uh, uh, when I look around at the teachers uh, just within the contemporary arts, not the SFU, just within con contemporary arts, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with the teachers. And I went, well, 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 what about these other people? One of the things that struck me very early on was the, the element of theatre in teaching, that the fact that unless you've got the student's attention, then it doesn't matter what you say because they're not listening. Dr. Jones has a somewhat peculiar sense of humor, and he cares about the fact that the students actually learn something and enjoy his class. And I think at the end of the day, that's what's the most important, and that's, that's what he was able to achieve. So that's what the difference is between, I think, a, a good teacher and a great teacher, from my perspective, is that ability to connect with more than just one type of individual. So some people, for example, like you to be happy. They like you to be um, uh, engaging and, and humorous. Other people like a more serious person. And when you're in a class, I teach classes of up to 200 people. That's not the, that's not the easiest thing to do. I mean, I teach a class and there's 56 in the class and I try to teach it as much like a seminar as any, much as anything. So everybody's talking. There's a, always a movement towards a consensus in the class and I try to resist that as much as possible so that uh, if anybody raises their hand and moves against the consensus and kind of can support that opinion, they get a higher participation mark. One of the most important things in Kugler's class, uh, it's the discussions that we have. People share ideas. It's, it's, I find it a very secure environment to share ideas, even very radical ideas. The important thing isn't any particular set of answers. The, the important thing is the desire to explore one's ignorance. It's not so much for me a question of transferring any particular body of knowledge as of sharing a sense of curiosity. And I think the one common thing I see among most teachers is they're caring for other people. They care about the fact that other people don't understand what they're talking about and they want them to learn. So if you care, it's about half the battle. Right from the first week, you see he comes into the class super enthusiastic, he loves the subject, he loves working with students, and uh, you know, it just set the bar high from the beginning so that you know, you have something to sort of look forward to every week. And when I had my uh, theater company, I would do certain plays. I tried to do plays uh, that I was particularly fond of, and then my job was to show the audience my love for that material. And I think that's part of what happens in class, is that you, you demonstrate uh, your own uh, engagement with the material, and that uh, pulls them in, and they suddenly see the material through your eyes. Well, for me, for, this, for the longest time, it was so scary to do art, to create. It's just, it was so sacred theater. But then you, you come to, to this uh, school, let's say, what Kugler does in a school for contemporary arts, and you find art is sacred, it's beautiful but it's not that unreachable. You can reach it, you can actually approach it and create. When a person understands that learning is a really great thing, it differentiates them right away. And it's something I try to tell my kids, it's something I try to tell my students. The fact that that learning mentality, the idea that you can come in and learn things and do something new is really the most powerful thing that human beings can do. Learning is about uh, opening up boundaries. It's about passing, surpassing what you expect. And that's why I care about it so much and why I think teaching is so important because it allows people to surpass what they think they can do. And that's, that's the importance of learning. It's always been my feeling that learning is valuable in itself. Knowledge is valuable in itself. And I'd like us to uh, send that message out to the world that we're not valuable because we would increase employment, we're not valuable because we'll benefit the economy, we're valuable because the pursuit of knowledge is one of the things that humanity is about. It's one of the things that has value irrespective of whether it does any good in any other way whatsoever.
And I'd like us to say that to our students. I'd like us to say that to the world's whole.